Hey guys, today we're going to talk about pulling a 32 foot travel trailer with a half ton truck. So there's two weights that you're going to need to keep in mind. One is your, your hitch weight and your tow weight. The hitch weight is rule of thumb. It's 10% of the travel trailer plus the weight of the driver and any passengers or anything you have inside the truck or in the bed of the truck. Those two numbers added will give you your hitch weight. Now the tow weight is what your truck can tow. You want to make sure that you that you have a travel trailer that that's light enough to allow you to put water in your freshwater tank and and supplies and stuff inside the camper that you're going to need when you're camping that way everything's good to go now first thing i want to talk about with um things that you're going to need you're going to need a really good weight distribution hitch so this is the blue ox weight distribution hitch it it's active all the time, which is something that you need. You can back up with it, um, back into place. Some of them you have to break them loose. This one you do not. You could just back right into your spot. If, you, if it's a back end spot, whatever. Um, I highly recommend this one. It, it was 800 bucks installed. Um, I've got a YouTube video that explains how to use it um, on, on, on our YouTube channel, Wilson's Wild Ride. But what I want to explain to you is what this thing actually does. So what this actually does is it distributes the weight of the trailer evenly on the frame of my truck, not just right here. It puts the weight evenly on the frame and, and then also distributes some of that weight onto my trailer. Now, what I was talking about earlier with it, it work being active all the time is these, it's active all the time. So when the wind hits it, it it's automatically wanting to fight back wanting to keep it back straight and uh, and when the wind hits it i'm going to feel it in the truck and that and i may have to turn the wheel to keep it straight but that's all right that that's just that's all part of it so the next thing i wanted to show you is this so these mirrors extended mirrors your half ton i mean your your three quarter ton and your one ton trucks they're going to come equipped with it and, so, and some of your half, tons, half ton um, trucks come equipped with it. Mine didn't. You can get these off of Amazon. And I mean, they just, they, they come right off and they slide, slide right on. They're, they're good for extending this out where you can see your tires, you can see the side of the trailer, both sides. You can also see traffic that's coming up on you. Um, if 18 wheelers coming up, you'll be able to see them before you can in this one and when he's coming up just a tip um, when you see him coming if he if he's gonna pass you 10 15 mile an hour faster than you're going you're gonna feel it the, the air that he's pushing it's, it's gonna be a lot if you could speed up just a little bit that will lessen that will lessen that amount of force that's hitting you uh, it, it's crazy how that works but it does it's tire pressure monitoring system this guy is going to tell you how much air you have in each tire, the position that the tires are, the temperature of the tires. And this is crucial too, because if you have a nail in your tire, you don't even know it. And all of a sudden that nail comes out. And if you don't have one of these, what's going to happen is that tire is going to go flat. You probably won't know it. And then until that tire comes apart. And then when that tire comes apart, it's going to cause a couple thousand dollars worth of damage, um, beating your, your wiring and your plumbing and, your slide outs, gears, and every oh, it, it can it can make a mess back there. I'm sure you've seen that too. So this thing is really really good. Um, it, it will alert you if the pressure drops. It's solar panel too, right here, so it charges automatically. I have it sitting right up here in the window like that, where it just stays charged all the time. <clears throat> Another thing I want to talk about doesn't seem like much but it's very important is seat positioning you want to make sure that your seat is positioned where you can drive comfortably for long periods of time with both hands on the wheel because if you drive into a valley and wind hits you from the side you're gonna want to you're gonna want to be ready and and it's gonna happen it's gonna happen last thing I want to talk about is your brake system my truck came with one set already in it 
you could buy them aftermarket. They're hundred four hundred dollars to four hundred dollars, whatever. And you you can either install it yourself or have someone do it professionally, however you want to do it. But what this does is this tells the trailer to stop. So how you how you set these is what you're going to do is you're going to get on a straight road after the, everything's hooked up. You're going to squeeze this and and the trailer without without hitting your brake pedal, the trailer's going to stop the truck without locking the tires up. If, if the tires on the trailer lock up, then you need to hit the minus button and then try it again. You, the, your, your goal is to stop the truck at 15 miles an hour with this without, without locking the tires up and without dragging too far. You, you, want, you want to make sure it stops at a good distance. Once that's done, you're good to go with this. Back here, This is your plug. This is for your lights and all that stuff. But this is also for your brakes. And um, you plug that plug will go right here. And your tow vehicle, you should have you should have some sort of uh, attachment for your for your lights and and your and your brakes. That's where it goes, right there. And uh, so I just want to kind of go over what what we just talked about. Um, you want to make sure that your weights are right from your hitch weight to your tow weight what you're pulling um, your weight distribution hitch if you can't splurge on anything else i highly recommend splurging on that um, like i said I, we paid 800 dollars for that um, installed then the mirrors if you don't have extended mirrors those guys right there are a lifesaver 50 bucks off amazon done deal good they slip right you saw how i put them on just a minute ago they slide right on slip right off then your tire pressure monitoring system that's 150 bucks it'll save you in the long run if you ever have if you ever have a flat tire on the side of the road um that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you like this video please subscribe hit that uh, notification bell and if you have any questions please put them in the comments thanks for watching